This is a mobile phone, and as many of you know, the police can easily track its location, even if it's an old one and it doesn't have GPS technology. But how exactly do they do that? That's what you're going to find out in this video. To track a mobile phone, the police just needs cell phone towers, and yes, there are enough of those. These days there are cell phone communication towers everywhere. Some of them are easily visible, like this one, but some of them are also sneakily hidden, like this one. It's located on top of God's house. Now, the police is going to use a method called pinging your phone. Um, and that sounds complicated, but it is actually not, because you do this very often. If you call someone, then you actually send a ping signal to that phone, to that phone number, then the phone replies so that the phone call can be established and you can speak to the other person. So the police basically calls the phone that it wants to track. So the police wants to track a phone. So they just call that phone number. Only they slightly modified the ping signal so that the phone replies to it, but it doesn't ring. Like, your phone doesn't suddenly ring um, because the police is going to track you. You do not notice that your phone has been pinged, but it does a reply so that your phone sends a signal back. So here we have our little region full of cell phone towers and the red dot that you see that is the phone and all of these cell phone towers send the ping signal your phone receives it and it replies now a mobile phone doesn't have a very very big range so only these four cell phone towers receive the reply signal from the phone now the police already knows that you're somewhere in that area now the police only needs three towers to track your location so they're not going to use the tower that is the furthest away from the phone. How do they know that? Well, the phone replied to the ping, so all of these four towers received a signal. The tower that received the weakest signal is the furthest away, so they're not going to use that. The police is going to use these three towers. Now, what they do is they measure the signal strength on this tower, which tells them the distance of the phone from that tower, which is about that. Now, they have a problem because they still don't know the point where that phone is. They know that it could be in a circle all the way around that tower on that, at that distance. So they're going to use the second tower to improve the accuracy. So they also measure the signal strength on the second tower, which means they can now measure the distance from the second tower to the phone and they get another circle. As you can see, we now have two points, two locations where the phone could be. Now the police uses the third tower to determine which one of these two locations is the spot of our phone. As you can see, that one, exactly at the red dot where our phone is located. And this is how the police tracks a mobile phone, even without GPS. Of course, it's not as accurate as GPS because buildings, trees and objects can influence the signal strength, so the measurement is not always accurate.